Magazine rating and reviewing Amazon's best-selling bikini sets. Now, I know, you might be wondering, how do you know anything about swimwear? Well, my credentials are as follows. I have a swimwear store, I also own a lot of swimwear, and I also know what it is like to have swimwear on and feel so uncomfortable in it that you wish you hadn't bothered wearing it and you just stayed in your big winter coat. So, I feel that I know a little bit about this. And these reviews, there are so many of them, they're all so positive, but how do we know if they are true or not? So I thought we should test it and give it a go and see what we actually think. And I want you to give me some feedback and let me know what you think. I think I am going through an orange phase. This is the first bikini. I don't know if you can see it because we're matching, but this is the number one best-selling bikini set. It is the cup sheet two-piece swimsuit, high-waisted, v-neck, twist front, adjustable spaghetti straps, bathing suit. Wow, that's a mouthful. And I got it in a size small, which is what they recommend. It's $34. So we're gonna try it on and see how this fits because I'm not a massive fan of two pieces in small, medium, large, because I tend to find that my bottom half is bigger than my top half and it just tends to be disproportionate and then I get all upset because it doesn't actually fit. So we're gonna see how the sizing works for this one. So my first impressions are, it's lined, it's definitely double lined and it's like a, I really don't know if you can see this, it's like a high waist. It's like a high waist bikini bottom and it is a double lined all the way through, which is a which is a good thing because when you get it wet, you don't want it to go see-through. It does have a few seams on there. And then the bikini top has boning, it has a really firm boning on the sides of it. It has the spaghetti straps that are adjustable. Oh, it does have those pads. It has the privacy pads in, but they're not stuck down, they're floating pads. So we're gonna see, already you can see like the line of the pad so that might not work very well oh you can take the pad out if you want so you don't have to keep the pad in that's handy because you know what those pads are like they're never good and they get all crumpled and creased and all that sort of thing so i'm gonna try this on and i'll be right back i had to keep the shirt on because it's a moment i really like this shirt but it does not come with this bikini this came as a two-piece set on its own. Now this bikini, it is a high-waisted bikini bottom, which I do like because it hides a multitude of sins. The back of the bikini, it is average coverage. It's not full because it's not covering the whole of my bottom, but it's also not a thong back either. The bikini top is not adjustable. It just slides on over the head. There's no underwire in this bikini at all. And what I'm thinking, these straps are really thin and I feel that it almost feels like it's folding over as I'm moving and I feel if you have a bigger bust than I do then maybe this is going to fold over. Would I keep this bikini? Well it was $35 so you know in the grand scheme of things it's not really that much for a bikini set nowadays. It's it's okay. I, I think I would if I was doing nothing but lying on the beach. If I was moving around then this would not not be the kind of bikini that I'd want to keep because look at that, boingy boingy. You can see the ridge of the pad and it's even moved across because that pad is tiny. Look how, let me take it out for you. That's the size of the pad. It's tiny and the pocket is rather large. Now this is a small, it's a small top and a small bottom. And I tend to not like that because they tend to not usually fit me. Usually I need a medium in the bottom, a small in the top, but this one is not bad. I will, I will say it's not bad. And I'm gonna reserve judgment to the very end. On to the next one. This is the Sue Kesey's Swimming's Wrap Bikini Set Push-Up High-Waisted Two-Piece Swimsuits. Well, it's not a swimsuit, it's a bikini. And my first thought that I, the first thing I noticed for this is it is double lined to have a whole thing. Now the bottoms are again high waisted. These, these three bikinis that I'm reviewing are from completely different manufacturers, but they all look very similar. So there is definitely a style that is working on Amazon at the moment. It, this bottom, it's, I don't know if it's supposed to be ruched, but it's a little baggy. I'm not sure if it's to give it that, you know, concealment of the midriff, so to speak. The bottoms on this, again, are average coverage. They do cut. I feel like my bottom's spilling out. I feel like it's giving me a, a four bottom effect because the bottom of my cheeks are spilling. Anyway, this, this top is what I really want to talk about. 
I went and used the size chart and the size chart told me to try an eight to 10 because of my bust measurement, because my bust measurement is a 35. However, it is way too big. It's just kind of gapping at the bottom. I think if I was to jump in a pool, this might not be on me when I came out of the water. The straps are again, the spaghetti straps and you just pull it on at the back, but look, at, look how big the back is. It's really a shame because it's really pretty but it just, the, it just doesn't fit. And like a lot of the reviews that I'm seeing on this, the bottoms fit, the top doesn't, or vice versa, the top fits, the bottom doesn't. And that's the problem when you're buying a two piece that you have to buy two pieces, which was always my issue, which is why I always like to buy separates. But a lot of these do not come in separates, which is annoying. So this one, it's not even giving me a push should be like, that's a push. This is just, it's just not lifting. It's not doing anything. They're in there. The pads are sewn in, so they're not going to move, which is a bonus for this suit. All in all, I would not keep this suit. It is only $26.30, but I would rather not waste my $26.30 because it just doesn't fit. The, the top's too big, the bottom's fit, but I'm spilling out of them. It's not a keeper for me. This is the Tempt Me Women's two-piece vintage high-waist bikini. And it is definitely giving me vintage feels because look at it. This is just the epitome of a vintage bikini, bottom, set, top, whatever. It has a high-waisted brief. And again, the briefs, I think it's just the cut at the minute. It's, it's this average cut to them because it's not full, but it's definitely got a bit of the bottom cheek hanging out. The top of this bikini is the most supportive out of all three. It almost feels like a bra support to it. And I'm gonna show you at the back why, because it has this hook and eye fastening that you can adjust. But what I did notice is the clip's starting to distort a little bit and it's, I'm not sure it would, it would hold. You then have this tie bit. And I thought at first it was to hide this hook and eye. And then it's a halter top, which if you don't like halters, you won't like this. But I think this is giving me the best look of all of them. It's giving me the best lip and it's giving me that pushed up look. It has the pads. It does have padding in here and it's sewn in and stitched in. Now there is a weird stitching right there down the middle. I don't know if you can see it from a distance, but up close you can see it. This one is $36 again. This is the set that I would actually buy out of all of them. I feel the most secure in this. I feel like I could do stuff. Well, I could walk, maybe not bounce around. I could walk around in this and definitely sunbathe in this. So if I had to rank them one, two, three, this would be one. The orange set, because I love orange, that would be two. And the blue one, that would be three. And that would definitely be sent back because it just didn't fit. 